Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Stuart Shore, Vice President of Communications from Jaguar Land Rover, and welcome to our press conference. We hope today to have a fun and newsworthy program for you. I want to introduce a few guests before we get started. First, our President and CEO of Jaguar Land Rover North America, Joe Eberhardt, has joined us. Hello, Joe. Um, our Director of Product Planning, Rob Filipovic, is here, ready to take your questions. And um, as well, from the UK, our Exterior Design Lead for Jaguar, Dominic Najafi, is here. And Dominic is going to present the new F-Type to you in a few moments. Before we get started with Jaguar, I wanted to remind people that if you look over to my left and your right, the Land Rover Defender is right beyond the crowd of people. And with the new Defender coming to market now, Land Rover has three full families of vehicles, the Discovery, the Defender, and the Range Rover. And we think the Defender is going to be one of the big hits here at the uh, auto show this week. We encourage you to go take a look at it. The reaction to the car has been phenomenal, and I expect to see big crowds around the car um, all week long here at the auto show. But we're here to talk about Jaguar. And I wanted to share with you just a thought or two. A Jaguar, like the industry, is going through a transition. You have the shift from sedans to SUVs and the influx of new EVs. And fortunately, Jaguar is well positioned on both fronts to compete. But at its heart, Jaguar is always going to be a sports car brand. And we're really pleased to be able to share with you today the US debut of the new F-Type, the modern, iconic heart of the Jaguar brand. Let's take a look. Okay, you can see how excited I was to get on the stage there. Um, thank you, Stuart, and um, good afternoon, Chicago. It's an absolute pleasure to be here today. I'm Dominic, one of the chief exterior designers at Jaguar, and um, here to talk about what we love, uh, sports cars. It's what we live for at Jaguar. Uh, we have the best people from around the world come to work to, uh, for Jaguar to have that chance to be part of a sports car, and uh, they embody the brand, the best of the brand. You know, we're uh, very, very motivated and uh, passionate about designing sports cars at Jaguar and um, because they make people happy when they see them, because they're beautiful and because they're different and they look fast even when they're stood still. So it gives me pleasure to, um, to talk about this. We've got, um, you know, if you think about F-Type, it is an absolute icon. It's our hero car. And as Julian Thompson, our design director, always says, that um, every car wants to be a sports car when it grows up. It's the ultimate achievement. It's the ultimate ambition. And, um, you know, sports cars have always been a hugely inspirational part of the Jaguar story. And every story does have a beginning. So I'll tell a brief story today. And um, if we start there, look at the screen. So that might be a bit further back than you expected uh, to go, but this is where it's the first time we saw the relationship of performance and person and what that looked like. And if you see on the screen there, you know, the more wealthy you were, the more horses you had. And you could get places quicker. And so the proportion, the image of the long bonnet and the cabaret harnessing that power was born. And of course, all the best Jaguars uh, had this very prestige proportion. See some examples here in these graphics. You know, it's all about as well making the car look like it's been designed at a moment of inspiration with a few swooping lines. And that's totally inspired the very dramatic proportion you see in front of you on uh, F-Type. Okay, so 
Detailing as well. Detailing can really add character, can add personality to a car. And, you know, we've got some E-type details sketched there. If people notice how we've been inspired by those in subtle ways, that's great. That just gives the car a little bit more of a special feeling and a bit more personality. So, uh, the new car then. Let's talk about it in a bit more detail. First of all, we wanted to make the front end presence even more commanding, even more progressive and dramatic. So how have we done that? We've got a completely new front end and bonnet. The lamps are very, very slim. I think the slimmest lamps in, in production. And actually, they've got pixel LED technology now. Okay, so you can see very closely these little modules in the lamp. They're like four blocks of ice, very precise. And uh, on screen, you can see as well, shining through the signature is this monogram pattern. And this pattern you'll see throughout the car on the tail lamp in the interior as well, was derived by the Jaguar Heritage logo pattern here. Uh, the logo was deconstructed and made this, what we're calling this trademark uh, signature pattern you'll see throughout the car. So, back to the front, the grille is larger, it's deeper, and the bezel is bolder. You'll see another detail on the bottom there, the F-type script is embossed into the bezel. That's a bit like how you get jewelry engraved, gives that sense of quality. The mesh is completely new, with a bold hexagon shape, and another detail really is the way it's gloss black and satin black combined, which just gives that real material layering. I'll talk about detail a lot because we've put a lot of effort into making sure the closer you get to the car, the more time you spend with it, uh, the more you see, the more there is to surprise you, delight you, and more intrigue there is to that. And the bumper here and the lower corners, you've got these really beautiful air intakes uh, inspired by aircraft design. And from the front view, the way the lamp signature and that wing line up, just gives the car real balance on the front end. It's a really strong and powerful front. We're very, very pleased with it. Brand new bonnet, of course, with the new lamps. And this bonnet is, is taken the form and sculpture to a new level. It's very expressive. You can see from the picture again on the screen, this in natural light, the, day, the sort of reflections you get on that bonnet are very exquisite. And that's been a result of many hours sculpting the clay in the design studio. It's a very artistic process, um, pure sculpture. And we actually design these reflections and highlights to make sure the car has this real exquisite quality when you see it uh, on the road. If we move around to the side of the car, I really love the way this new side vent really shoots through to the lamp now. That gives the car real coherence from side to front. It really works around together. And also, the, the side vent itself uh, doing that really accentuates, again, this length of the bonnet that's synonymous with those early Jaguars uh, I just spoke about. In detail again, and you can see from the, from the screen, there's a mesh pattern in this vent that is the same as the bonnet vent as well. So when you approach the car to get in, you see this link, this consistency. You know, we've worked very hard to get this kind of real coherent feel. The leaper is presented on the side for the first time. This is a real Jaguar signature, something we're very, very proud of, and you'll see more of it in the future. We really want to embrace that, embrace that kind of signature, make it feel very, very special. So to keep going around, again, really famous. The F-Type is famous for these powerful haunches that really give the hard ground-hugging stance. And then the tail lamps. And you can see from the screen again that very slim tail lamps, a bit darker, quite, um, you know, very technological in their appearance. And again, that monogram pattern shines through. The signature is now a chicane, a chicane line. And we liken that to almost like a, it's been designed with one stroke of a calligraphy pen. It has this lovely kind of line weight to it, very, very dynamic. So, new wheels as well, of course, and uh, quite a lot of choice for the wheels. You see the rear wheel has this deep dish um, that's uh, wider at the back. That's like a supercar. That's what supercars do. It just really gives the car, again, just, just that powerful stance. To the interior, we've done some really um, nice touches to this interior. So, F-Type interior is about driver focus. It's about this cockpit feel really, you know, envelops you in the experience. And we've improved that experience with um, better technology. So, we've got a new HD 12.3-inch cluster uh, in front of the driver that's interactive. And um, that really heightens that sense of experience as well. And the craftsmanship on this car, the trim and the craftsmanship are pure Jaguar. Pure Jaguar. The stitching on the seats and on the doors, again, that really presents the monogram pattern. So you see that interior and exterior tying up together. You know, the, the car has been designed as one. It's this holistic um, sort of piece of design, designed by people who work closer together and live and breathe it. So we really want you to get that feeling when you come closer to the car. Some of the other details as well, very small, but we've got this um, on the seat buckle here, 
uh, I invite you to come up later, please look at the details. It's a Jaguar established um, script. It just reminds people of the care and attention and also the heritage of the company. This company has been around for a long time and we are progressing to the future with full uh, motivation. Okay, um, this interior shows the new Mars Red, which is a very sporty and, and kind of deep um, uh, colour. But on the screen as well you can see the Sienna Tan, which is uh, exquisite. It really injects a kind of exotic warmth to the, uh, to the cockpit. This final shot of the rear, this is the R version on screen. And the, let's talk performance, you know, this R version now has 575 horsepower. Okay, and it actually has the um, quick shift transmission from all the learning from the 200 miles per hour Project 8 Jaguar as well. The cars get um, new suspension knuckles for improved ride comfort. So overall, it's more beautiful, the detailing is better, and it performs better and rides better. It's just enhanced in every single way, and we're very, very excited about it. So um, in summary, what can I say? You know, I've been drawing cars since little boy trying to convince my parents uh, it could be a, a real job or one day. And, um, you know, to stand here today with the team against this car, it's like, uh, it really is a dream come true. So sports cars is uh, what we live and breathe. They, they sort of influence everything we do. And um, I really hope you get that sense of passion and enjoyment that we've had designing the car. So um, thank you for listening and enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dominic. Um, next part of our program, I'm sure you all noticed to uh, my left, to your right, the rather elaborate Hot Wheels track we've built here, and it was also featured in the video we showed before. And I think everyone remembers, uh, as young kids, like Dominic mentioned, being an automotive enthusiast and looking forward to a, maybe a career in it in the future. Um, most young automotive enthusiasts have played with Hot Wheels cars as a youngster, played with the tracks. And Jaguar is committed to de develop the next generation of automotive engineers and automotive enthusiasts. And so we came up with a fun little way to make our contribution. And that is that we're announcing the Jaguar and Hot Wheels Ultimate Track Challenge. We're putting a contest out there for universities and colleges from across North America to compete, to build a more complex, more challenging, more record-breaking Hot Wheels track than the one that we've done right here. And for the school that gets selected for the Ultimate Track, we'll make a donation of $50,000 to their automotive engineering scholarship program or just engineering scholarship program. We wanted to set the benchmark a little bit and show how it's done, so we built our own track here today, and along the way we set our Guinness record for the most um, loops in a row unassisted, and we uh, achieved that last night when we were setting up. We want to show you a quick video. So you can see, you can see we're having a little bit of fun at Jaguar and we want to support, support others who want to uh, explore their passions for automobiles. So the rules of the Ultimate Track Challenge are fairly simple. University or college engineering program anywhere in the United States and Canada, raise their partner with a local Jaguar retailer in their community, build, design, and create their own Ultimate Track, more complex, more challenging, more loops, faster than the track that we built. Have one Hot Wheels car complete the track without falling off, which I assure you is not easy. Video it, submit it to us. We, along with Hot Wheels and Guinness, will evaluate the results and we'll pick a winner and make a donation of $50,000 to that university scholarship program for engineering students. Now we have some uh, students here today who've already raised their hand to compete in this contest, the Illinois Institute of Technology a couple of young folks over there, they're down for it. They're going to partner with Jaguar Land Rover Orland Park here in Chicago and be the first group to, uh, to raise their hand and compete in the project. And we're hoping that other schools and engineering programs across the country 
want to have a little bit of fun, want to explore their automotive passions and participate. Uh, we'll be releasing the full details of the Ultimate Track Challenge on JaguarUSA.com in the coming days, and we look forward to it. And we now want to um, ask Mike Zorlock from Hot Wheels and Philip um, Robertson from Guinness to come on up and just quickly share a little bit of uh, what we experienced yesterday. So, Philip, maybe first you'll just talk about the record that we set. Sure. Uh, thank you, Stuart. Now, my name is Philip Robertson. I'm an official Guinness World Records adjudicator, which means I'm allowed to make sure that the rules of every Guinness World Records title attempt are followed correctly. Uh, for this challenge, we needed to make sure that it was a standard Hot Wheels track. It hadn't been modified in any way. None of the tracks had been shortened or adapted. It uh, is pretty much out of the box, standard Hot Wheels track. It had to be a standard Hot Wheels car. Um, it, it was a beautiful piece of engineering to, to make it all come together. But the most important part of the entire challenge was the title, which is the most loop the loops achieved under no power other than gravity. So you'll see speed boosters around the rest of the track. That part isn't necessarily the Guinness World Records part of the actual challenge. The challenge itself is gravity. So as you can see at the start of the track, there's an, an incline which has got seven loops on it. The car has to pass all of those seven loops without falling off. And I can assure you, Mike's going to explain how he did it, because I still am slightly baffled at how he achieved it. Phenomenal idea. We'll, we'll be delighted to be behind you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Phil. Appreciate it. That's right. Um, and Mike, why don't you tell us about how you built the track? Well, uh, first of all, it's my honor to accept this uh, for myself, for Hot Wheels, and of course Jaguar. Uh, the track was crazy, <laughs> to say the least. Um, the amount of loops with the space that we had, that what we had to work with, um, we tried eight and just fell on its fell on its face at eight. But um, it was quite quite hard um, and uh, probably well it is the hardest track I've ever had to build outside of my living room <laughs> so uh, it, it, it is definitely a very complex track um, that whoever the engineering students are going to be able to beat it uh, you guys got a challenge most most definitely uh, so hopefully hopefully you will so good luck good luck great Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Have a seat. So in conclusion, the new Jaguar F-Type debuting here at the Chicago Auto Show and the Jaguar Hot Wheels Ultimate Track Challenge going to effect now. We hope kids across the country and across Canada will have a little bit of fun and, uh, and try and do us one better and see how hard it is to engineer a Hot Wheels track. With that, I invite you guys to come on up, take a look at the car, ask our executives and uh, colleagues some questions, and Play with our Hot Wheels. Thank you.